Hello everyone, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Welcome to Queuing Lesson 2. And in this lesson, what we're going to do is teach you guys something about time plots. And basically, all we're doing this lesson is learning how to read one. And uh, after we understand uh, fully what a time plot is, then we can do some maths involved around it. So uh, let's create a situation. So the situation is, customers arrive at a shop with an inter-arrival time of 3 minutes. So let's highlight the term inter-arrival. Basically, inter-arrival time just means the time it takes between each customer to arrive. So for example, customer A arrives, and then after 3 minutes, customer B arrives, and then after three minutes, another customer arrives, customer C arrives, and so on. So that is the time between arrivals. It's called inter-arrival time. Actually, let's write that down somewhere. So inter-arrival time is the time taken between customers arriving. And the service time for each customer is four minutes. So it takes four minutes to serve each customer. So I'm writing that down here. Service time is the time taken to serve each customer. And customers, uh, sorry, so there is one checkout serving the customers. So the task is for you to create the time plot. So the first thing we would do is have a time column. And usually the time column is split up into minutes, right? And starting on, oops, starting on the zeroth minute. Okay, so starting at zero, we can do, um, let's just bring this up a bit. So starting, we don't need this either. So let's cut it off here. Oops. So we got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So that is the time in minutes. And we split up each single minute. So starting on the 0th minute, starting from the beginning, what happens? On the first minute, what happens? On the second minute, what happens? Okay, so let's do the next column. Next column, we have customer served. Customer served. And basically, that's just saying, who are we serving right now? Okay, who are we serving right now? And we basically label the customers as A, B, C, D, E. Okay, the first customer, we call it customer A. Okay, so customer A. Now, um, guess how many minutes it takes to serve customer A? Four. All right, so I'm going to put A four times. Let's all align this to the middle. Uh, hang on, why is it not working? One second. There it is. So, customer served is four times, four minutes, sorry. And um, customers arrive at the shop with an interval arrival time of three minutes. So the next column is going to be arrivals. Okay, so we're assuming customer A has arrived at the start of this situation. So let's say, um, for example, let's say this is 9 a.m. Okay, 9 a.m. Customer A arrives um, on the dot and then... What happens is because the inter-arrival time is three minutes, okay, so after customer A arrives three minutes later, um, customer B arrives. All right, so when customer B arrives, what happens? Well, customer B is in the queue, so customers in queue. Right, that would be, um, oops, make it a bit longer. Customers in the queue would be B, 
right? Because when customer B arrives, customer A is still in the queue. So customer B is sitting in the queue waiting for customer A to finish. And the length of queue is one. All right, the queue is one person long. Okay, so what happens after the third minute? Or on the third minute, customer A is still being served. As soon as the fourth minute starts, all right, customer A is gone. All right, so then what happens is I can put customer B to be served. All right, so at nine o'clock, actually it might help if I change it to just nine o'clock. So nine o'clock, nine o one, nine o two, and so on. All right, that would help a lot because you're probably thinking, what does zero mean? Okay, so at nine o'clock, custom A is being served. At 9.01, so nine, uh, at the start of 9.04, we put customer B on. So customer B is now being served for another four minutes. So let's just uh, copy him down for another four minutes. And the inter-arrival time is three minutes. So after another three minutes, I'm going to put in customer C customer C would be here All right. actually I'm gonna put A here because that's when customer A arrives customer A arrives at the beginning customer A you put it over here for four minutes All right and inter arrival time is three minutes so customer A arrives at the nine at nine o'clock all right, at 9.03, customer B arrives. At 9.06, customer C arrives. And uh, another three minutes, customer D arrives, and so on. All right, so when customer C arrives, sorry, I should probably work down this list. So as soon as um, customer B is being served, he leaves the queue, so there is now nobody in the queue. Okay, but as soon as customer as soon as customer C arrives, um, there is someone in the queue. So customer C is in the queue, and the queue is one again. And um, over here, customer C is now being served. So, so C C C nine eleven. Oh, nine eleven. C. And then, um, yeah, so customer D is in the queue for uh, the length is one, or uh, one person in the queue. Uh, here, customer C is still in the queue. So length of queue is one. Okay, so um, let's just keep going so you can see what, what to do. So actually, I'm just going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to go 9, 12. Let's see if it'll fill down. Will it fill down? Oops. No, it doesn't. It does, sort of. Okay, so I got A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 D, 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 E, E, E. So I'm sort of cheating a little bit. And then inter arrival time three minutes. So after every two blocks, I'm going to put in another new guy. Oops, F, G. Okay, and customers in queue. So right now, customer C is being served, which means customer D is in the queue. As soon as customer D is being served, customer E has joined the queue. So E is in the queue. And then now we have two people in the queue, right? Have a look because customer F has just arrived. So it's EF. Both of them are in the queue. Now customer E is being served. So customer F's in the queue. And then 
G arrived, so G is in the queue. So now it looks like this. One, 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 two, one, one, two, and so on. And if you keep going with this, actually, I'll do you guys a favor. I'm going to keep going for a bit. No one's ever done this before, but I'm going to just keep going. Okay, so I've extended till 9.31. Um, I filled up FFFFGGGGHHHH, into arrival, three minutes, HIJK. And now let's do who was in the queue. So customer F just got served, so it's only G in the queue now. H has arrived, so G and H are in the queue. G and H are still in the queue. Customer I has arrived, so H and I are in the queue because G is being served. Now, three people in the queue, H, I, J. H is being served, so I and J are in the queue. K arrives, so I, J, K are in the queue. So have a look at the number of people in the queue. So we got two, one, two, 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 three, two, two, three, three. So you can see, initially, we had zero people in the queue. And look what's happening to the length of the queue length of the queue is increasing okay so other than teaching you guys to construct a time plot the summary of this lesson okay the summary of this lesson which you must understand before you go on to the next lesson is if the uh, so if the Inter arrival time is smaller than the service time. The queue will continue to grow. All right? Some people might put that in the other way around. So you can say, if the service time is greater than the inter arrival time the queue will continue to grow same thing okay if you want to put it this way you can if you want to put it that way you can it means the same thing inter arrival time is smaller than the service time see three is smaller than four or you can say if four into uh, service time is four minutes if service time is greater than inter arrival time so four is bigger than three the queue will continue to grow see originally we had zero people in the queue and look what happened at the end. We got three people in the queue. If we keep going, the queue will keep growing more and more. So if this is the case, the shop is going to need more than one server. All right? They're going to need more than one server if the inter-arrival time is three minutes and the service time is four minutes. They're going to have to hire some more people. So you can start to see why queuing becomes a bit more important. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.